Hello, this is another tough video and it's uh, related to a kind of society, you know, how society is is working and mind the gap comes from the thing that you might have all heard that the gap between the rich and here watch out rich uh intelligent and powerful yeah because the iq unluckily if you lose all the time your iq goes down if you win all the time your iq goes up so uh, money intelligence and power you know be feeling powerless and uh, that gap you know is going like this we all know that and now the thing is i want to define what what are these so these are the rulers and these one are the masses but um, I, I want to distinguish between four different ones and the, the the first one for me are the rulers you know very few rulers you can call them elite or whatever you want to call them, kings and so on. Um, then there are the helpers, you know. So uh, usually it was, uh, these were the kings. And then, so I, I write to the blue, I write rulers. Yeah. And uh, to the uh, to the black, I write helpers. They help the rulers. And uh, in the past, that was like in medieval time and uh, like a thousand years ago, the rulers were the kings and the helpers were the kind of the companies, the uh, merchants and so on. And that is kind of moving around so that the helpers now are the politicians, the rulers, uh, so the kings and the uh, actually the ones with the money are now the rulers. So th this is this change that's going on. So we have these two groups which are in, and I, I want to put that already here, uh, they are in the winner group. So winner, uh, because they are in this winner group, money, uh, intelligence and power. Uh, and now the other group, so the, I, I now want to put the loser group, loser group, and the loser group I would divide, and you could kind of uh, put in masses, you know, the masses. You know, so you have, uh, like Machiavelli says, the masses, you know, the population. Um, and here I want to distinguish between the masses that are still okay, you know, that live a good life, you know. So it's like the masses which are okay. And then there are the masses that are not okay. So they um, are, so knock, no, not okay. And now the definition, definition of okay is to live a good life, you know. So if you ask them, they would say, well, I have a decent life. And then these ones would say, well, life is bad, French Revolution, I would rather do a revolution. You know, so the masses, and now we come to this point, uh, where, which I want to make to here. And most people, uh, most are unconscious, conscious of the system, of this situation or system yeah so also there is it's very easy so you have winners and you have losers and you have rulers helpers and then you have masses and some of them are okay they have to eat they have uh, nice cars and nice houses and so on they are okay and then the masses that don't have so much so let's say in these masses looking at the whole world you would see like six billion people are kind of the losing masses and maybe two billion are the kind of okayish uh, and then you have here rulers and helpers, you have some million of people that are in this area that actually together govern the world. Now, the thing is, uh, when, you, when you look at this like 2000 years ago, you would have very few rulers, you have maybe some helpers, and then you would have um, like most of the masses, like really badly, you know, going on. And some of them are masses that are good. You know, they have a good situation. So 2000 years ago, you have this. And now what you, what, what we hear is that this gap is widening, you know. Uh, so if I now look at the situation, you, over time, you know, so this is the time. And the, uh, the, then when you, let's put it, I, I don't know, 1950, or it doesn't matter, 1900, because there's sometimes a war and something changes these things. But um, like a general picture, let's put 1950, so we, we avoid the war. Um, now, you know, the bump that you have uh, because of the war. Uh, and then you would see that the rulers, they changed, you know, between kings and uh, now elites and money guys. 
that the rulers, um, you know, they actually, I think they, they, they shrink the number of rulers. So here is maybe only one fifth or so of rulers. Helpers, I, my estimate would be they would maybe even stay the same or increase. So it's one fifth here and maybe this is times five or times two or let's put times five, you know, times five. So you have more helpers for those rulers. So this, this so the, the winners. Yeah, but these are very few. It's maybe around um, X million people in the world. Um, okay, and now, so influential scientists and so on are here in the helper guy thing. And then when you, when you look at this, you have these, ha these happy kind of masses. And I think the happy masses from being many, that is now shrinking. You know, that is kind of shrinking more and more. And then you have the unhappy masses. And I think that the elites being there, because they have, oh, sorry, that grows. Um, so uh, the, the elites are well aware how, uh, you know, how angry these are, you know, because they can watch what we think. They can watch this video. They can watch every Facebook, uh, WhatsApp or entry. So they know what these masses do. If they love their cat videos or if they are unhappy or and so on, they know everything. So these guys know everything about this. So what I want to put in here is the, uh, like, like the, um, like, let's put it 1970 or so. That was a time where the elites here were mainly about military. Mili so the the lobbies. So this is what I in red I put in the lobbies. Yeah, lobby. Yeah, and now so you have military and you have governments. I put that with law. You know, so government government makes laws and makes war. You know, war. So create war so that they can sell. So this lobby can sell lots. And it doesn't matter whether soldiers are being killed because anyway, they are from the masses. So it doesn't matter. So they, they are being killed. And so th this like um, cynic or uh, um, what, what is that? Uh, very negative thing. Uh, what all the rules of, rulers have always done is um, it doesn't matter if somebody dies, you know, if it's not myself and somebody from my family or friends. Uh, so if the masses die, uh, the, 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 the military lobby d d doesn't care. And now this changed over time so that we now have more lobbies. And now we have the lobby from the illness, illness industry. Yeah the illness industry, and then we have, uh, obviously, we, we have all the, the helpers, you know, the doctors and so on, they, that uh, are very happy in this illness industry. But then we also have the nutrition, nutrition, then we have the law fir firms, then we have the tax, you know, in Germany, that's very high, like a million people just working in taxes, you know, um, and so on. So this, these are all guys that have lobbies, you know, and there, there are many more lobbies uh, that are there uh, that actually uh, cause us, you know, and now I come to Corona. So let's put, let's take, you know, a part of here, which is only, you know, this is only the seven months that Corona has been going on. And so you, you have, now what I want to show here is how many people can still be in, be in this green area because you are happy and now you have the measures. So you have the masks, yeah, the masks. And now are the masks causing that you move out of the green? And I think most of the people say, well, the mask doesn't hurt me. So it's not that they think that their um, the happiness level in this area here, in the loser area, um, decreases. So that, that's fine for them. Then maybe the laws, constitutional laws being changed. And most of the people also here say, well, that's okay. And now the thing is, so there, there may be the forced vaccination issue, you know, where you have forced vaccination. So maybe here already, some of the people here uh, might be, you know, might get angry, you know, might get angry and be unhappy. So the okay is not fine anymore for them. 
uh, and then there will be maybe social or travel travel restrictions, uh, social restrictions, schools, work, and so on. So maybe more will move out of the happiness green area so that they are okay. Yeah, and so now the question is. What, what is this, how many of these events can you actually um, kind of accept uh, that, and now I want to look at it individually, because this is looking at its statistics and at society, maybe this is here, I, I put um, like maybe 10% of people are happy, you know, and maybe 80%, you know, 87% are unhappy, and then let's say we have uh, three percent up here and help us and uh, and rulers. Uh, so so it's something like this. And now the question is, um, what measures make these people? You know, make these ten percent maybe go to nine, eight, seven. But when you watch this video, it's about you. So that's me and you know, let's say that's me plus my family, friends. Uh, and so on, and community, yeah, friendly community. So that is wh where I kind of, that's the, how I define myself. And the thing is, if I, you know, I have to look at myself personally, am I part of this? Or if, you know, somebody is in this 80% already having a, I sometimes say a shitty life, you know, a not okay life, then um, what these measures that we are now forced to do, will they actually decrease our happiness level? And this is the question I have to ask. And now the thing is, uh, you cannot control these guys. Well, you could, but let's do that in a different videos. I've touched that in several videos already, like the, what is the best form, the governmental form and so on. This is very, very difficult, very complex. Therefore, I just want to, in this video, um, it's this mind the gap, you know, it's can I personally, and this is very important for me to say, please look at it personally. It's you can to do something for you and your loved ones. Yes. And now the question is, when are these measures and the laws and so on, when is are those measures creating a system, you know, a system that we cannot be happy anymore? Yeah, in that we cannot be happy anymore personally. And so this is kind of my call to action. If you think, and personally, for example, for me, the times now we are here seven months into Corona are fantastic. Corona for me, because I have no problems with money. I have no problem. Actually, my IQ, I think, went up. At maybe my crystal IQ, um, maybe not my dynamic IQ, like problem solving. Although I, I don't know. I, my impression is that looking at Corona and the, the thing behind Corona has actually enlightened me and it kind of increased my IQ. It has not increased my power. It has maybe uh, increased my um, mental independence. That's so personally, I would say mental independence, independence. And here I want to end, end with that. And I do not want to end the, the thing, the media, the, the mental, um, independence with the film Brazil, with the message Brazil, you know, a fantastic film where the protagonist, the, the main actor, where he kind of escapes the prison that they have created, which here would be, if this is seven months so into a Corona, um, maybe in five or ten years have created. And his only escape in the film Brazil is to fly as a bird uh, above, you know, so he, we see him flying as a bird across... Uh, uh, um, above this 
dark grey world and you know looking I, I think he was then looking uh, in the heights like a bird at the trees and the woods from from above and all that cruel system did not look uh, bad to him so the message is personally you know he's full of love and care and he's he's independent he's completely independent now i have to say although that is an option it's let's say it's not an option that I would like to see as uh, the solution uh, of this corona uh, rulers, winners uh, and masses, losers uh, game. So I, and that is also my, my biggest uh, kind of challenge to find a system that is more just than this system and a system where the dynamics, you know, this is the big problem, di dynamics, that the dynamics of this genetic system with, um, uh, with uh, dopamine and serotonin, with winners and losers, and um, the, where these dynamics are being stopped and where the system actually prevents people that are winners, the rulers and helpers, prevent them from always enlarging the gap. And this is my biggest kind of thing where I'm, I'm researching. And so if somebody has ideas and so on, because I, I think it's not staying in the same system. So it's not um, a new party. So we need a new party, which, uh, you know, the be aware of the gap or close the gap pa uh, party. And then we, we have 53% uh, of the population and then we rule in a, in a good way. No, no, no. This, uh, like this, a very friendly, uh, what is, I don't know the exact term, the friendly dictator or something like that. Uh, I don't believe in that. You know, it, it must be a system that um, is being enforced, but still allows, you know, people that are, because these ones that are up here, these are the innovative people. These are the, the ones that try these, you know, the value creators and so on, they try new things and so on, whereas the masses are more like the passive ones. Um, so, uh, and, and that is also why the dynamic people, they win and win and become stronger and become stronger. So and that is why we have this dynamic. And the dynamic is in our genes, because there cannot be 100% of fully dynamic people, because then we would have chaos. We need a structure in our society where we have this pyramid, uh, one is a ruler, nine are following, and 90 are just preserving, you know, what these guys uh, decide. So something like that. Um, and so that means it, this is in our genes. And now if you look at this and give them Facebook and all the control and all that stuff looking into what we think, then obviously they become richer, more powerful, and, and this is very interesting and more intelligent. You know, and the, the ones that always lose, always lose, say, well, I can't do anything. Well, I can't do anything. Well, I have a beer and put our feet up and let, let's watch Netflix. And well, I can't do anything. Anyway, you know, uh, so that is my biggest, you know, challenge. So sorry, that was now uh, very long. I actually wanted to keep it below 10 minutes, but I never succeed. So I hope you have good comments. And if not, <laughs> it I anyway do these videos for myself. It's this tell a friend concept, which means um, I I usually have an idea, I work on it, and then kind of um, you know, uh, and then I I try to kind of create a system that I can then use in my so loved uh, system thinking approach rather than dogmatic approach. And I will end with a statement from Einstein. To change something, you need to use new approaches and not use the old system, just a little bit different. Thank you very much for listening. Bye-bye.